Hello everyone, I'm Andy Oppenheimer and I'd like to introduce you to the CBRN module which is part of the renowned University of St Andrews Certificate in Terrorism Studies. I've authored this module based on 13 years knowledge and experience as an independent analyst, author and lecturer in counter-terrorism and CBRNE, that unwieldy term for chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear weapons and explosives. I'm a member of the International Association of Bomb Technicians and Investigators and an associate member of the UK Institute of Explosives Engineers and my book IRA The Bombs and the Bullets is regarded as the leading work on the military campaign of the Irish Republican movement. I've written hundreds of articles for specialist journals and I give presentations at conferences and seminars worldwide. I also edit a leading journal on CBRN called Chemical, Biological and Nuclear Warfare. In this module, we explore the origins and history of nuclear, biological and chemical weapons used in warfare by nation states before and after the Cold War and how these weapons, technologies and expertise have proliferated to other countries, including states believed to sponsor terrorism. The first part of the module looks at the development and use of NBC weapons by nation states and how they have proliferated to other countries, especially states of concern. It will analyse current state capabilities, explain the mechanisms involved whereby countries obtain the means to develop NBC weapons and how we assess their capabilities, including states undergoing conflict in this century. We examine the attraction of NBC weapons to states in volatile regions and question the value of their developing and possessing such weapons. The module then examines in detail the threat of use of CBRN weapons by terrorists and insurgents and why this term has morphed from the original Cold War NBC. It delves into the extent and changing nature of the terrorist CBRN threat, how it is assessed, the groups and individuals involved and how it is measured according to intent, capabilities, supply chains, resources and circumstances. We then assess the nature and effects of CBRN weapons with noted examples of previous incidents. This opens up discussion about the extent of the CBRN threat, possible future threats and if governments have overstated the threat. The module finally focuses on the effectiveness of CBRN countermeasures, including preparations and training for a CBRN event of high significance or high consequence, and small-scale attacks as well, in the context of current instability in various countries. Why do we study this module, or why should we study this module? Nuclear, biological and chemical weapons are the most destructive ever devised. With the exception of naturally occurring plagues and some very large conventional bombs, they remain the top end of man's ability to destroy his enemies. But while they have thankfully been rarely used in comparison with conventional weapons, the threat is changing from the old Cold War superpower nuclear arms race and standoffs to a more amorphous world of proliferation with threats from states of concern and terrorists intent on merging civilians and troops and destroying and denying infrastructure. I believe this module will enable you to understand the extent of NBC weapons development in the past century and assess why and how, despite reductions in stockpiles of the original nuclear weapon states and treaties to prevent proliferation, the spread has continued to several countries. We need to assess the terrorist CBRN threat and how perceptions of civilian threats changed after 9-11, to measure intent alongside capabilities of groups and individuals, and examine how they acquire and fabricate materials into CBRN devices. We also need to learn about the equipment, first response, training and procedures to deal with CBRN incidents and their shattering aftermath, and ask if the threat has been overstated, and if the measures are an overreaction against the backdrop of conflicts and instability in many regions. 
Who should study this module? For anyone already involved in first response, military, police or government service or counter-terrorism, this course will provide an invaluable addition to your studies and research into terrorism or as an introduction to your training for military, police or other first responder operations. It will also give you essential technical knowledge of the nature and effects of CBRN agents and materials and of prime importance to practitioners will discuss past noted events and lessons learned. It will also outline the obstacles to CBRN deployment by non-state actors and why some groups with potential capability chose not to use CBRN while others do. Based on current understanding of capabilities and intentions toward developing CBRN, I believe this module will help you to try to plan for possible future threats and incidents. I encourage you to look at the course prospectus and enrol for the module either individually or as one of the electives for the Certificate in Terrorism Studies.